In our last video, we showed you how to make a self-powered engine by modifying an alternator and connecting it to an engine, which produces free energy. The video instantly became a viral video and that caused us to be bombarded with questions and many did not believe it. In this video, we are going to tell you in depth how the engine works and we will show you more shots where you will clearly see that this is not a montage. But before we start, we would like to ask you to stay until the end of the video, as we need your help with this video and the previous one. Like and share this video so that we can reach as many people as possible and let everyone know about this hidden technology. Throughout the video, we will explain why. Now, let's start. Many of you have doubted that the previous video was true, and some of you commented that you wanted to see the machine on a methacrylate table. In this video, we are going to show you many shots from all angles so you can see that there is no trick. Here, we are going to use a transparent vase with a background as white as possible so that you can clearly see that there is nothing anywhere. Also, all the shots will be uncut so you can't say that they are editing tricks. Let's start explaining how this new feedback system, capable of generating electrical power, works. First, we have a single phase motor with a plug. And we have a track alternator, 24 volts and 200 amps. This track alternator was modified, as you could see in the previous video. And if not, we will leave the link above. We have modified the rotor by placing permanent neodymium magnets. This will cause the engine to have a permanent magnetic field, much stronger than the original field of the alternator. Therefore, it will increase the voltage of the alternator. It will increase 10 times more to about 240 volts. This voltage with the intensity that we will get will give us a power between phases of 5000 watts. That is to say, between a phase and another one, we will have 5000 watts 220 volts, and between the other phase and this one, we will have other 5000 watts and 220 volts. In total, 10 kilowatts of power. For this to work, an, in an initial start of movement to the generator. The generator has two phases connected to this socket. When we turn on this switch and give it an initial movement, this will generate 220 volts and it will make that this motor that is plugging here start up. The movement of this engine, thanks to the drive belt, 
and the pulleys that are connected to it will cause the alternator to rotate, thus generating power and thus powering the engine. This will maintain the perpetual motion. In addition to generating energy to move the engine, and this in turn moves the alternator, there will be a residual energy to approximately 9 kW, so that we can connect anything here. In this case, as we only have connected two phases, it will give us a maximum of 5 kW, which, subtracting the power of the engine, will be 4 kW. If we connect the other two phases, we will have the 10 kW. Okay, to start this device, we will need the wire that we will wind there to start generating the movement. As you can see, for the motor to generate the current perfectly, it must rotate in this direction, downwards. For it to rotate in this way, we have to wind the cable in this way. In all these shots, we are not going to make any cut, so that you can see always the whole process. We start to rotate, to win the cable, Okay, that's enough. Now, as you see, we have to put the switch in position 1. When this starts to move, it will generate a, cur a current, and this electric current, through the plug, will make the motor start to move. We are going to start. Now, we are going to connect the tester, so you can see that I'm actually getting 212 volts. Two hundred and twenty volts between the two phases. And now, between this one and this one, another 220 volts. As you can see, the voltage oscillates a little bit, but it's minimal. We have a voltage of 220 volts. Now, to make more measurements, we are going to put this little device. But so that it's in a vertical position and you can see the results, we are going to connect it here. and this here. Right now, we have a consumption of 0 watts, 0 kilowatt hours, 228, 50 hertz, 60. The frequency varies a little bit, but it stays. There's no current because there is nothing plugged into this outlet. And let's start by reconnecting the drill, which you've asked for a lot. We put the drill there. And as you can see, eight hundred and fifty watts. At startup, it consumes a little more. Eight hundred and sixty watts at start out twelve hundred. Two 
the voltage remains constant. And when you connect the drill and start it up, the frequency also remains constant at 50 Hz, because the motor speed drops a bit. As you have checked, the perpetual power generator works perfectly. Next, you ask a lot why we use a single-phase 220V motor instead of using a three-phase motor, each connected to a phase. Well, the reason is simply that we didn't have any three-phase motor that was 3000 RPM on hand, so we had to use the single-phase motor. In a future power generator that we will create, which will be 20 kW, we will put a much larger three-phase motor and use two alternators. Many of you also say or claim that you can get power from nothing. Here we are not generating energy from nothing, that is impossible. Here we use the energy that has always existed in the universe, magnetism. The magnetic energy is transformed into mechanical energy, and the mechanical energy through the alternator is converted back into electrical energy with a very high efficiency. In this way we obtain unlimited and free energy. Another question you ask is why a 24V alternator generates 220V? The answer is very simple. By modifying the rotor as you have seen in the previous video and placing permanent magnets, we generate a much more powerful magnetic field. That way, every time the magnetic field passes through a coil, it generates 10 times more voltage. Therefore, we get a voltage between phases of 220V. Others say maybe there's a wire, maybe there's a hidden battery, maybe the motor is a large lithium polymer battery hidden inside. As you saw, we moved the camera around earlier and later you will see it again and there are no hidden wires or hidden batteries anywhere. This is a wooden table. The power strip with the electrical connections, the modified alternator and the electric motor. There is nothing else. We're going to show you now another long shot and cut where you can see the equipment working and we will lift it up while it's running. We will use it to drill a piece that we have there on the bench in the background. Quite a few of you had asked us to be seen moving it and that's what we are going to do.
As you can see, the motor can handle drilling apart without any problems, without dropping in voltage or without dropping in power. You have already seen it, so we turn off. Some of you say that the blue and brown wires go to another place. Well, here you can see perfectly that the wires simply connect the alternator with the terminal strip. Many of you also ask why the voltage remains constant. It stays at a constant 220, 230, 240 volts. Why? Because once the system starts, the voltage generated by the alternator is able to move the engine. This engine moves at a constant revolutions per minute. Therefore, that small variation of revolutions that can have is minimal. And the alternator will always rotate at the same revolutions. That is why it stays at a constant voltage, because it rotates at the revolutions that the engine tells it. Since it goes through a belt drive, when the engine turns, the alternator turns, and the alternator cannot turn faster than the engine is moving it. Therefore, it generates 220, 30, or 240 volts approximately. How do you turn off or disconnect perpetual motion and power generation of this machine? Well, it's very simple. That's why we have put this black base with a switch. Turning it off, setting it to zero, the electric motor will obviously stop getting current, it will stop rotating, and when it stops rotating, it will stop moving the alternator, therefore the system will stop completely. Many of you ask why I don't show my face in the video, why I hide. That's because it's a fake, because the video doesn't work. No, it's not like that. Obviously, I hide and cover my face because I'm not interested in certain companies knowing my identity, so as not to threaten my safety. That is the real reason. Another thing, many of you say that the movement is not perpetual, that the magnets degenerate and lose their magnetic power. Indeed, that is so. After thousands of years, the magnets in the rotor will lose their magnetic effectiveness. Therefore, they will generate much less current. But we're talking about thousands of years. Another point to take into account is the maintenance of the machine. The machine is not eternal either. It must be maintained. Once every six months, the alternator bearings, which are here and there, need to be changed. The engine bearings, which also have two, and the drive belt. By changing those things, we will have a machine for life. Many of you ask me, if this works, why don't you sell it and become a millionaire? Can I buy one from you? Can you make one for me? Well, the answer to all this is that we can't put it on sale. Why? Because more than 60 years ago, this technology was, was already patented by a very important oil company. And that patent is still hidden in a drawer, forbidden and unused, impeding the progress of humanity. That is why we can't commercialize it only make it known and make it public. Otherwise, I would be prosecuted, I would be imprisoned, and I would endanger my own life. Well, you've seen it. We have done our best to show you how this machine works and how there was no trick in the previous video. Now, we need your help. We can't market this device, but we can make people know about it. 
Help us to make this video seem by liking, commenting and sharing it with as many people as possible. If this video or the video of the device manufacturing reaches 50 million views, we will give away our device to one of the subscribers. And if we reach 100 million, we will release the blueprints to the public without worrying about what might happen to us. Together, we can make this discovery reach every corner of the planet. We will not let the big industries continue to enslave us for energy. It is time to tell these companies that we know their secret. Let's change the world. Together, we can. Thank you for watching this video.